You're about to learn how to update Omnisphere 2 the easy way, the fast way, the best way. Now, there's the long way, which will take ages and need you to move a bunch of files to a bunch of different folders. Very tedious, very complicated, not needed. And then there's the easy way, which will save you a bunch of time and do most of that work for you. Which one do you want to pick? Watch this video to learn the easy way, okay? But before we enter this airport without speaking any Russian, I've got a question for you. That question is, what are my top three VSTs for music production? If you want to guess, leave your answer in the comment section down below. But if you don't know the answer, don't worry because I'll be revealing it later on in the video. Just stay tuned. And let's get into it, shall we? The first thing you want to do in this process is open up Omnisphere. Now you can do this by opening up Omnisphere in your DAW or you can use the standalone plugin. Because we've already opened Omnisphere, it won't give us the option we need. So let's close this. We don't need to close our DAW completely, but let's just open Omnisphere from the application because then it should give us the option that we need. Here we go. When you freshly open Omnisphere, this is the splash page you'll get. And down here, you can see it clearly says, get updates. This is what you want to click on. As you can see, now that has changed to check for updates. So we're going to click on that. And this is going to bring us to the page that we need to be at. And it's going to tell us exactly what we need to update. So here is telling us we need to update our Omnisphere 2 software as well as our Omnisphere 2 patches, which is perfectly fine. I did recently update, as you can see, we're at 2.7. They must have done a new update in the past month or past couple weeks. But here we can click on this button step two after you get to this page is to click on get updates now what this will do is it's going to create a zipped folder including everything you need in order to update your omnisphere software and update your omnisphere patches and because i actually need to update i'm going to walk you through the entire process right now now this file may be extremely large depending on how long you haven't updated for and how many things you need to update. Now, this was only about, I think it was like 400, 338 MB, which isn't too bad. Last time I updated, it was over a gig and that took over 30 minutes. This is gonna take up to, you know, five to 10 minutes. So we're gonna allow this to download and then I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the process. While this is downloading, we might as well talk about how you can learn how to create your own beats from scratch using my easy nine step trap beat making formula. All you need to do is click on the link down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course. This course will take you from creating your melody all the way to mastering your own beats. And it's absolutely free. You've got nothing to lose except for this opportunity to join this free course before it goes away forever or stops being free and I start charging for it so click that link down below go to the link that I already told you about join up ASAP so now our file has downloaded we are going to click show in folder and then I'm going to unzip this so here we are I've got a lot of stuff in my downloads because I reinstalled a bunch of stuff upsetting times but yeah we were there so now we're going to right click. We're going to go to extract to Spectrosonics Updater 1. This will extract it to a specific folder so that we don't need to search through our downloads and find it later on. Or so that it doesn't just extract everything in our download folder, which is even worse. And we're going to wait for that to extract and then we're going to come back. So now the, why am I wearing this? I don't need to be wearing this at all. So now the updater has been extracted. Let's double click on this folder and let's go into here and now actually let's close our daw because this may interfere with what's going on and let's close the omnisphere application basically close anything that might be using omnisphere because it may stop you from being able to update. Then let's go to Windows. Let's go to the Spectrosonics Updater. And what this will do is it will basically update your patches and your sounds if you haven't done so already. But my sounds are updated, so all we really need to update are the patches. So now we're going through the installation process. We're gonna click, I accept the agreement as you do. And then you basically want to check where your VST plugins are already sitting. So for example, we're only updating Omnisphere right about now. So we're gonna go to my Omnisphere folder. 
because I've got a specific folder for Omnisphere and all its data and its Steam data and all that sort of stuff. We put that over there and then we click install. Wherever you have that installed on your computer is where you need to select, okay? If you go on the C drive or you go on the D drive or what have you, make sure you're selecting the right place. Wherever your Steam folder is, is the second part. And wherever your initial Omnisphere DLL file is where you installed your Omnisphere VST in the beginning, that's where you wanna select for the first option. Okay, so this has already updated everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Omnisphere and just double check to make sure that it's updated everything because I have had an issue where I've updated stuff and then it's told me that I need to update my software even though my sound sources or my patches are updated. So it's saying updates are available. It shouldn't be available at this point. Everything's up to date. I don't need to copy over anything, but last time I did need to copy over the software. In order to do that, you go to plugins, then you'll copy your Omnisphere DLL plugin and then you'll navigate to wherever you originally installed Omnisphere. So I've got my own Omnisphere folder here and then you just want to paste it over your old DLL plugin but I'm assuming I don't need to do that I'm going to quickly open up FL Studio and just make sure that Omnisphere is working exactly how it's supposed to and not giving me any error messages telling me that I need to update the software or anything like that like it did before but if it does do that then you know copy over the DLL file and you'll be good to go. But as you can see, this was a really, really simple, straightforward process to update Omnisphere 2. The long process has you downloading these different folders and copy and pasting it into your Steam data and over here and over there, and it's just long, bad vibes. So let's quickly open up Omnisphere and see if it does what we need it to do. Yeah, so it says we're up to date, and if we try and open a patch. <laughs> What patch is this? I've never used this. Okay, having too much fun there. Basically, everything is working out. Beautiful. And that was step number four, but I totally forgot about the steps. Now, earlier on, I did ask you a question and I'm a man of my word, so I'm gonna answer it right now. That question was, what are my top three VSTs for music production? The answer is Omnisphere. This is great for pretty much everything. It has a lot of great bells, arpeggios, only use one up to be fair, but I use it mostly for bells, keys, and pads, but it's expensive. It's like 300 to 400 pounds, depending on where you're getting it. Dollars, I think it's maybe like four 400 500 dollars it's wild wildly expensive there are cheaper plugins out there so i cannot recommend it that highly because of the price but if you're just gonna buy one plugin one vst and you don't want to buy any other ones omnisphere makes sense like it does a lot of stuff but also you could use the second one on my list which is cheaper and it also comes with a lot of patches and a lot of different options. I honestly, I only use like maybe 30 patches from Omnisphere, if that. And this next plugin is cheaper, more affordable, and it's got great patches as well. And that's Analog Lab. Analog Lab 5, to be specific, is cheaper than Omnisphere, as I already said, and it's a great comparator to Omnisphere because of the amount of patches and the lovely analog sound that you're gonna get because it's basically emulating a lot of those older synths, which is, you know, the type of vibe that I like to go for. I haven't explored it that thoroughly, so I can't really speak on the quality of all the patches and whatnot. Pretty much only use two, three patches from Analog Lab. But I've tried out a few. I've tried out maybe 10. <laughs> Consistently, I use two, maybe three, no, two, let's be real. And the few patches that I do use sound great and I like them and I'll consistently use Analog Lab. And it is now part of my toolbox along with Omnisphere. The third VST is Ample Guitar, specifically Ample Guitar M. This is the perfect guitar VST for making guitar-based beats. It has a bunch of effects to make your MIDI sound more realistic, like a real guitar. And it's the gold standard when it comes to guitar VSTs, in my opinion. I'll leave links to all of these down below just just in case you're looking for some new source and you want some new VSTs, I'll leave them in the description. So let's quickly recap the steps. First of all, you wanna open up Omnisphere and on that first splash page, you wanna click the check for updates button or updates available button. Then you'll be taken to this updates page where you'll see what you need to update. Then you wanna click on the blue button that will download all the files you need to update your Omnisphere and Keyscape if you got that as well. Then you need to unzip that file, use the Spectronics updater 
exe file on Windows. Make sure you close your DAWs and all that sort of stuff before using that. And then you want to go into your DAW or go into the Omnisphere application and check that everything is working. Check that it says that everything's up to date. And that's that. If you've got any questions or any videos you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out that description with a lot of great stuff that you're going to love, as well as my beat mixing templates, which will have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Check out that video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.